Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and yes, this is a lot of hair. This is actually the same wig I was wearing the other night. The only difference is, is I washed it. And this is human hair and it went back to its normal waviness. Whoever used to own this hair had wavy hair, so now I have wavy hair. So I kind of like it. What do you think? Is it, well, um, First of all, welcome. I hope you're all okay. Um, and thank you all of you who came and you, you sat through that um, the live stream. I've never done a live stream before and um, I used a very inferior laptop camera for that. And um, midway through it, I started to distort and my eyes were over here. I look like, like in Men in Black when they put the glasses on where they could see the aliens from the humans. <laughs> It was like, I had, and, and I did this, and, and my mouth's over here, and one of my eyeballs is sticking out funny, like I've been run over by a train. It was like so creepy. I was like, eh. Because, you know, after the, um, the live stream's over, YouTube regurgitates it, and then it puts it up like a video. And then I could read all your comments, and it was so funny. I don't know if you realize this, but... You guys were like a pack of teenagers at the drive-in movie. Y'all talking to each other, and the movie's in the background, which was me, and you're not uh, watching the movie. You're not asking me anything. You're all talking to each other. <laughs> I was like, okay. I felt like the teacher in uh, Charlie Brown. I was going like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know, and you were all like talking back and forth. Hey, how are you? How are you? What are you doing? Stop baking. Do, do, do. And um, I, actually, to be fair, there were a few questions, but basically I think you all were just having fun talking to each other. So it was really fun for me, too, but I just kind of yammered on and on. My DJ training has me, like, pre-programmed to always make sure there's no dead air. So I just blah, 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 blah. And um, I felt bad because I made a list of a lot of the channels that I like to watch and I missed like a half of the page because I was trying to look up and, and when I looked down I missed like a whole section and it was like L is for living and glitzy fritzy and um, pride in photos, Lori. Um, uh, Laura who used to be Shake of Makeup but she's, not, she's her name now, she changed to her name. Yeah, this, there, were, there were a lot of people I missed and I feel really bad because I I do watch a lot of people and they weren't mentioned and I hope your feelings aren't hurt if your channel wasn't mentioned um, and it was great to see you all. I don't know, maybe every Friday night or something I could do it, um, but a shorter one. You know, that was, that was like an hour and ten minutes and I think that's probably why YouTube probably did that distorted my face so I get off, you know. Maybe it's their version of like the cane, you know. <laughs> you know, taking me off the stage. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for that. Um, I bought a few things before everything closed down, uh, before the non-essentials closed down. Isn't that a cute meme that's going around? It's um, on Facebook. It's a list of three things and it said, I finally learned what my favorite hobbies are. And the first one was eating out in restaurants. The second one was um, shopping in non-essential stores and the third one was touching my face so this was really funny okay well um how many of you have gone down this rabbit hole <laughs> i have roots i have a roots you know where it shows up on me is right you know along the along this the hairline i it's all whitish gray so I usually get like the dark blonde, really cheap stuff, and um, this isn't bad. The red blonde isn't too bad for a box mix, you know, from the uh, from the drugstore. I like Madison Reed, um, but you know that can be around twenty-five to thirty dollars for that kit, and it was just a root thing. And since nobody's going to see me, well, actually, people are going to see me because I have two jobs now. But I don't hoard things, and um. I keep not finding these, and these are my, this is my favorite candy. This is the Caramel Nips, 
And these, I don't know, they're just addictive. Maybe there's something in them, like the cigarettes had in them. Maybe there's something in caramel nips, but I love these. Oh my, and it's this flavor. I mean, there's a chocolate one too that has like the, we used to call it cum gum, had stuff in the middle. Uh, but these caramel ones, it's just a hard piece of caramel candy, and it's 30 calories for the candy, which isn't bad unless you're like me and you eat the whole box in an hour. Um, I love these. So I do hoard these. If I see them and they've got like three boxes left, I will take the last three boxes. I'm bad, bad. I'm sorry. But that's the only thing I hoard. I'm really, I've been good about the toilet paper. I've been good about the paper towels. I talked about this in the live stream, but in case you missed it, at the Dollar Tree, for a dollar, you can get one of these thermometers. And these run around seven, eight dollars on Amazon, but I mean, you can pick it up in the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's a very good thermometer. Um, you push it in, you stick it in your mouth. I'm not going to do it. And then um, after one minute, it will tell you what your temperature is. It's a digital readout. Um, it is in Fahrenheit for you Americans. I think there might be a there might be a version that's the Celsius one for you folks who the rest of the world. <laughs> okay, there it is. Yep, it says 118. So okay, thank you. <laughs> Um, I do recommend getting a thermometer because if you check your temperature every single day, you can get um, a clearer understanding if, you, if you're starting to get symptoms, if you're presenting with symptoms, as they say. Um, speaking of which, I'm really getting into this elderberry thing. I mean, they keep saying that elderberry syrup is like the best stuff for you. And these are the um, Zarbies. Elderberry and honey, total immune support. These are chewable little tablets. And I've also got um, these, which these are the effervescent tablets. They're kind of like fizzies from the 1960s, where it's just a, it's a tablet that you drop it in water. You drop it in a glass of water and it fizzes all up. It makes like a soda pop kind of thing. Um, really, really nice. And elderberry extract is supposed to be very, very good for you. And these tend to also have zinc in them uh, for extra uh, immunity support. Uh, this is the Sam Bucal, and this is uh, you can find this in CVS. And they run around twelve dollars. They're in the supplement section. They're not in the vitamin section. You have to look in the supplements. Um, most of the time the pharmacists don't like to recommend this kind of thing because it's not FDA approved and all that stuff. It's like old wives tales. But hey, you know, this is the syrup. And the syrup was, um, it gives, they give you a little shot glass and then you pour the syrup in and it's, it's, a shot, it's a sweet kind of thick syrup and I decided that I didn't like this as much as chewing on one of these or having, um, I'll put it in a wine glass. I fill the wine glass with water and I put this in and I, I just, I feel like I'm having a rosé or something. Of course, I'm not, you know, getting loopy, but this is a really good thing. I think elderberry is a really nice choice. If you're going to go herbal and try to do little things to help your immunity, um, your immune system. And I also, and I'm still taking, these are the apple cider vinegar gummies. You're probably going to get sick of hearing me talk about these. Uh, they don't know who I am. They don't sponsor me. There's like no commission or anything. I just, I get these. I get them off Amazon. You can get two bottles of them, I think, for around 20, 25 bucks. Um, they're really good. They taste like berry. They don't taste like apple. They don't taste like sour. <laughs> I can't, I can't take a spoonful of apple cider vinegar, and I know I should be able to, but I just can't. I can't get it down. So these are really good, and they have the mother in them, which is that uh, extra added oomph that helps your GI tract and everything. It helps with uh, weight loss, and it also helps with gen general energy. So I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I probably shouldn't even be saying that, but I've felt really good since I've been taking these, and it's now been... Uh, many months I've been taking these.
Uh, these people contacted me and I've always felt that honey was a great thing. Like if you have um, a cut on your finger, if you put a little bit of honey on it and then put a band-aid over it, it would heal up almost overnight. Um, these people took the concept another step. These, these people are the Honey for Healing Company. It's an American company. I think they're just outside of Chicago. Uh, they have wound cream, it's called. And what it is, it's just a, it's just a light cream. It's main ingredient, and I think it's at the, the highest point you can get with, with the Manuka Honey. It's got Manuka Honey in it, and let me just put a little bit in there. You only need a teeny bit on a uh, cut or if you have, I get those splits at the end of my fingers all the time, especially in winter time. And then I noticed after using the hand wash and the alcohol wipes and everything, the edges of my fingers are real nasty looking. So I've been putting this stuff on and it works really nicely to heal it. But if you have a cut, you can just put, um, you wash the cut off. Um, and then you put a, just a teeny bit of this stuff on it and then put a band-aid over it. And this helps um, keep the wound, um, it's got antibacterial properties, keeps the wound clean while the natural honey helps heal the wound. So this is a great little cream. It's not scented and it's made from Manuka honey. And if you didn't know, um, I mean we throw the, that term Manuka honey around a lot and you're like, what the heck does that really mean? Uh, there is a tree, it's a tree in New Zealand called the Manuka tree and every spring the Manuka tree blossoms and it brings all the bees in and the, the honey that the bees make from this Manuka honey tree blossom, which is only in the spring in New Zealand, which is, what is that, around October or so? They're like backwards from us. Um, yeah, they make this great honey, it's got medicinal properties and Manuka honey is what's in this honey for healing wound cream. I do like this very much. It has helped. I haven't had a skin split at the end of my thumb since I've been using this. And I've been using it on the ends of my fingers just in general. And it's really improved my skin a lot in just like a week I've been using it. So, um, yeah, honey for healing. And that is a Manuka wound cream. <laughs> not a real attractive name. Um, I did say that it's a good idea to clean things. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I clean my puffs too. So when you're using like a, a puff to put like foundation, powder foundation on or blush or your powder or anything, you can need to wash this puppy. And I do. And what I do is I I wet it under water and then I rub it on the soap, on my Zote soap, and then I kind of mush it through and I wipe it over the top of my, uh, my cup thing that has the little nubbies on it. It's a washing cup for brushes from Real Techniques. I just rub it over there and then I rinse it and it comes out really nice and clean. Um, some of them can get slightly stained, but I clean everything because if this is going on my face again, I want to make sure it's clean. So if you have these gnarly old sponges in your compacts and you just keep using them over and over and over again, God knows what you're growing in there. So please um, uh, clean your puffs. And it is possible. It is. Yeah, this, this is kind of realistic looking. This is the Pandora. Um, Pandora it's called. Now this is my real hair underneath here and this is the Pandora wig. Moonlight Blonde is the name of this color and the Pandora wig is it's like a light, very light lace front so it, it's very natural looking. You, you can almost think that I it's my hair and it's like where did I get all that hair? But it is a little, I haven't, you can use uh, styling tools on it. I didn't because I was a little nervous. I just wanted you to see what it looks like after you wash it, but it was dead straight the other night when I was on the, uh, the live thing. That was the same wig. It's the same one. But I like wearing wigs because you can just have a good hair day when you're not having a good hair day. You know? <laughs> so, um, let's get into makeup. I had to order this because it's just, 
uh, fascinated me. This is the Too Faced, and this is the Born This Way, the Neutral Nudes. It is complexion inspired eyeshadow palette. There are 16 shades, and I bought this just before the close down. So the palette itself is really interesting. Uh, got a full size mirror there. And you can see that there's quite an assortment here of, of color range. Now all these long rectangular ones are matte shades, which is very nice. And then the little square ones are all um, either a, a pressed light glitter or they're a shimmer shade. And um, I love the idea of this because I'm looking for a good neutral palette to replace my Kat Von D one because my Kat Von D one is probably not going to be made anymore. So she left the company and they're still putting some things out but I see Sephora put all their stuff on sale so they're probably going to get rid of them. Um, if I was that company I'd change my name and everything, start all over again. <laughs> Jeez, she did a lot of damage. Um, anyway, the matte shade, like this this light matte shade is very nice. It's a base shade. And then we've got these two light, these are both shimmers that are kind of like glitters. And they are indistinguishable, indistinguishable from each other. Even though they look different in the pan, they look almost exactly the same on the eye. And they're not that great. They just, it's like a sheer wash with little tiny glitters and I, I was so disappointed because these are the only two light shades here and I was hoping there'd be another light shade with a little bit of body to it you know so that I could have you know pigmentation so that I could do something with it and I can't because I was going to do a nice you know eye look with it and everything but that doesn't it doesn't have any pigmentation just the little glitters and it's just you wind up with all these glitters everywhere so you know I thought that was a bad move now you have this which is kind of a tan crease color and then you have this one which is a little bit more neutral um, and then this one's more of a rosy uh, kind of a crease color and then you get a little bit darker for the darker skin tone folks they have darker crease colors that they can work with um, I don't know I'm, I'm disappointed but I've been using this the whole time through this um, COVID-19 thing um, because I just want to use it up I think I'm not going to return it it's there's nothing really wrong with it I just think that the shades could have been a little bit better would I recommend it um, the quality is okay um, I think if you get too much into these darker shades like this shimmer one and this matte one I just found they went a little muddy on me that everything kind of muddied together so uh, and that, I don't know if it's a user error or not. I've been doing eyeshadow for quite a while. And, um, but I do like the, the crease shades are nice. And, you know, these, um, these aren't too bad. But, I don't know. I, I can't really recommend it. Who has a skin color that looks like this? Really? <laughs> All right, let me just put that on there. I mean, it's decorative. But, I mean... I don't know anybody who's pinky purple uh, shiny with glitter on uh, as part of their skin. I mean, this is inspired by skin shades. So I just love the concept of it, but I think it failed because it just didn't have quite enough in each arena. Uh, but if you are a light skin person, a medium skin person, or a darker skin person, you can make an eye look from this. So it is very versatile in that way, but um, you can't make a lot of different eye looks and there's not a good pigmented light shade so that you can work with a nice cut crease or anything like that. So um, it's not really a fail, but I'm not over excited about it. It's definitely not going to replace any of the neutral palettes I already have. If you buy that from, it's Ulta exclusive, I think. And if you buy it from Ulta, um, you get this uh, Better Than Sex Mascara, no on both levels. <laughs> it's not my favorite mascara, so what's good about that is I'm using that during this um, siege of our independence. <laughs> and I'm using this as the mascara, because after all this is over and we're allowed to go out again, I'm going to get all, all new mascaras, and these mascaras are going right in the trash. I don't, you know, if I'm 
bring any of those little spore things. Um, I want to make sure that I don't have any mascara because that's right next to your eyes, you know, and I don't want to mess with my eyes. You get a really cute uh, bag though. I did like the bag. That's another reason I don't want to return it because I like the bag and I like, you know, it's it holds a lot, it's cute, and um, I do like Too Faced. I don't have anything really against it. I think that whole sexual angle that they started to go in wasn't so great, but um, I'm not going to throw that shade at him. Elf. They have renamed their moisturizer. Uh, this is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. I believe this was the Happy Hydration Face Cream uh, at one time. And a lot of people had asked if I would try this and demonstrate it. And um, there's two versions of this. There's a fragrance-free and then there's the regular. And I don't know what other difference besides the fragrance is in the two of them. Um, this one seemed to um, spark more, slightly lower grade than the fragrance-free, but I liked it. But the thing is, um, the scent that's in here is just so mild you won't even notice it, but I find that it's extremely um, hydrating to the point where it's really greasy. I mean greasy. It's greasy. And you have to let that puppy settle in a bit because you, you can, the more you rub into it, it just it takes a long time to settle into your skin. So if you're going to use this as your hydrator, uh, moisturizer, I would say let it settle for quite a while before you go into the makeup room and do your makeup because, whoa. <laughs> um, I like it. I think it worked. I think that I, I don't see dryness around my nose. I don't see it under my chin. And I've just been using this and a few other products. I think when you're using um, exfoliators, that really helps. And then this is afterwards. And I like it. I, I would recommend this. I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it runs around $11 or $12. For Elf, that's really expensive. I remember their dollar days and $2 days. Remember when we went to $3 and we were complaining? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Now they got $12 face cream, but I tell you, this competes with a lot of high-end face creams. I like this better than the Clinique. So, um, e.l.f. Holy Hydration uh, face cream. This is really nice. I wish I had discovered this earlier in the winter because I have such trouble with dry skin in the winter. And I think this is lovely, really lovely. Uh, there are three here of uh, these things. These are tinted moisturizer type things, so let me just go over this one first. This is NYX, and it's called the Bear With Me. This is a tinted skin something or other. Skin veil. Um, it doesn't really tint very much at all. I don't know. I had to. I had to use my drops with it because this is one of the crummy makeups I'm using during this isolation thing. Because nobody's going to see it. I'm just using it up because I. It's so long now. I can't return it. Um, this is a shade that I, it doesn't. You know, it looks like this, and I thought, well, that would be a good match for my skin. But it's really light, and there's hardly any coverage. Let me just show you. Since I have an age spot here, you can see how it doesn't cover it. And you can see it goes slightly golden. I corrected that by mixing this with some um, drops. But the first thing this does, once it sets up and dries, is it just cracks. Just like the, just like the desert. It cracks. It goes right into all the lines. Um, and then if you tap them out, you try to tap them out and then maybe put a little powder over the top. It's just, it's slimy. It's slimy. It doesn't really work that well. The colors are a little bit bizarre. They tend to go a little yellow. And even though I'm a little bit golden in my undertone, I didn't like this at all. I just... Uh... So it's NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. So it's a big thumbs down for me. Now these two are both from Neutrogena and I thought because I was shopping and they didn't have this one in the display. This one was what I thought was the newer packaging of this, but they are completely different even though they seem like they would be the same thing. The first one, and this is the one I loved, this is great, this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. 
And this is shade 30, which is just a little bit dark for me, but it's about a half shade up from my natural shade. Probably the 20 would work fine. So with this one, I think I got the 20 in this one because this was in the display brand new and I said, oh, it looks just like it's a skin tinted moisturizer. Oh, that must be this stuff. So I bought it and it's completely different. It smells like a suntan lotion and it's very light. It's way too light, but um, it seemed to, it's just like putting suntan lotion. It's such a strong, you know, that zinc oxide kind of smell like suntan lotion, like copper tone used to smell. It's a very light coverage. Um, it oxidizes up though, a whole shade. So this oxidized up so that it equaled the darker shade. So I don't, I don't see the point why they did this because they both have like the SPF uh, 20. They both have the same SPF in them. This one doesn't smell quite as much like the uh, zinc oxide as this one does. This one covers better and it doesn't sink into the lines. This one seemed to be heavy and because it oxidized, I didn't trust it. It went a little too dark, a little too golden -y red. And I don't know, maybe I was having a reaction to it. I don't know, but they're not the same thing. Definitely just think healthy skin is the one you want, not this one. So and why would they come up with something that's so similar and not as good? Unless it's for like oily skin teenagers or something. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, all right, something I like, I really like, uh, this is from Essence and this is from the, the blush series that came out fairly new. Uh, they're older blushes I loved, but this new one, this is called Blooming and it looks like nothing. Absolutely. It looks like, um, it doesn't look like it has enough color to be a blush, but it is so pretty. I've been wearing it every day. And yes, I'm putting my gnarly old disgusting fingers in here. I spray every, I'm going to do it right now. I spray everything with the alcohol. I have 91% alcohol and I leave it out to air dry. So I'm not quite that bad. <laughs> Very clean with my makeup. <laughs> um, I love that blush and it's called Blooming and it is number 50. And it's just the, per it's hard to overdo it. I think that's why I like, you just keep going on. I'm like, oh, I look great. I look very, very healthy. And I think that's the thing. Now you want to look healthy and glowing and radiant. Young, can't really do that anymore, but I can look healthy. <laughs> Kevin Aqua. Um, I talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again. And I did mention it in the, um, the live stream. Uh, some of you just don't have the patience for the live stream, and I understand. I forgive you. I forgive you. Um, Kevin Aquan's ex-partner and his business partner, uh, Eric Sekas, wrote to me. He had seen the special I did on Kevin, and he just said that it was terrific and that Kevin would have been proud and flattered. So I thought that was so nice of him. So I just thought I'd bring back out my Kevin Aquan. <laughs> Um, duo contour kit because this has two really good products in it. This is the medium sculpting powder, which is a very um, there I go with my finger again. It's a very you see that <laughs> it's sculpting in that it does a dimensional look onto your face. Rather, it doesn't do bronzing. It's not a bronzer, but it will take down. It gives an optical illusion of dimension, so you don't have you don't have that just a big round face. It's just an optical illusion that there's a little bit of a chisel in there. And then this is oops, I don't want to do that finger. <laughs> this is candlelight, which is a nice uh, highlight. It's just a subtle glow, subtle glow. It is not too strong, not too bright so you can get really quite a thing. Now Sephora has these. These are like I think they're around $24, $25 but they're just so nice. This duo is perfect. I mean if you can get whatever blush you want and then just pair it with these and it's a perfect facial 
contour construction thing with some highlight. So Kevin O'Quang, and that is the um, contour duo. I did for GIF Tarte. I think I like this now. This is the Tarte Glow Wand, which is a combination highlighter and concealer. I don't know how they did it or why they did it, but I actually like it because the longevity on it is pretty good. Um, you see how it's subtle? You get that shine, but it's subtle. Let's see if I can do it here. Um, I would normally put this on a pan. I would dab it on a pan and I would take a brush and then go up here on my fingers. But you can see there's a little bit of a shine, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what the lights here are pretty bad. So but that's the Tarte Glow Wand. This is the little sampler size that they sell, the travel size, which I would recommend if you want to try this, do it. But it's a very nice subtle cream concealer highlight. So I wouldn't use this under my eyes. I could, I think you could maybe use it like right here, or you can put it, um, you can put it where your glasses are maybe, so that, and put a little powder over it. So when your glasses are uh, set up, they're not red. It's not red underneath. <laughs> so okay, Tarte, I, I do like this. And I, I gave it some shade last time, so I changed my mind. I mentioned these again in the live stream, but I gotta mention them again because I didn't really give them a very fair review um, because I was all blurry and distorted when I was talking about them. I thought, oh my God, the guy who sent me these is going to be freaking out. <laughs> these are CBD gummies and um, cannabidiol. I learned that word. Um, it is derived from the hemp plant. And you know, hemp plants have been known for their medicinal properties for hundreds of years. And our American flag was original American flag was made out of um, fabric made from hemp. Hemp is a very wonderful plant. Um, now the other side of the hemp is the THC uh, drug kind of properties, the kind that we used to enjoy in the 70s, some of us. You remember $25 bags? You'd be like a quarter bag and it was 25 bucks and you had this. Anyway, um, Ankali CBD gummies, these are not <clears throat> pot like you remember from the 70s. Moody Blues album, you know. Um, this is a relaxing supplement and I tell you if you are stressed right now like a lot of us are, we're worried about our budget, we're worried about our jobs, we're worried about having everybody around us driving us crazy, you know, there's a, a million reasons we could be stressed out right now or just the fact that when you go out you have to wear a mask like it's some science fiction movie. I really like these. I think that they're delicious. Um, they're running a sale right now too. I did link it below and they did give me a code to give you if you want a discount for 20% off which is pretty good. Um, Cali20 I think um, is, is the code C-A-L-I-2-0 and you can get 20% off. I think they, they're very inexpensive. You know they have uh, sampler packs. They have um, they have the CBD oil itself that you can use. It uh, it's also works as a moisturizing agent, skin agent. Um, but this, this, I use it to relax at night so I can get some sleep because I need to sleep at night. I've got a full day of work and I have a second job now at night. So um, I, need, I need to be able to sleep at night. And I really like these. It's on Cali. It is a company out of uh, California, and um, it's it's a pure CBD oil, uh, high restriction hygiene there in the in the plant. So you can be assured that it's a high quality and a clean product. So um, I totally recommend them. I like them. They work for me and. I get sent so many things from people and I can tell you if it doesn't work for me or I don't like it, you probably won't hear about it. And if they give me a hard time about it, you will hear about it and I'm going to give you the honest truth about it. Like the people from the wig company are bugging me to talk about the wigs and I had to wash it first and test it out and I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about that. 
So on Cali CBD gummies, good good job. I like them. My friend Corinne gave me a little um, kind of a care package that had some spa soaps and shower steamer um, uh, atomizer type of things, and um, she gave me some orange face wipes, and she gave me a couple of pieces of makeup, and she gave me some tote bags that are antimicrobial. But the two items she gave me are out of a five-piece set. She kept the other three pieces. And I may actually order the five-piece set myself so I can get these again and the other stuff that she kept because she liked it. <laughs> this is Carmody, and many of you will remember her from, she was on a TV show where she was the makeup artist, was the final touch for somebody who was doing a makeover. And she's just a beautiful, pleasant person. Now this is the Perfect Rose Lipstick, which is a really nice cream lipstick. This is very age friendly. And Carmody just is the sweetest thing. This is the Universal Love. That went over that bone there. <laughs> All right, let me just put it on. I'm wasting a precious tissue, oh my God. I scored a 12-pack uh, of Charmin toilet paper the other day, and I posted it on Facebook. Can you imagine these are the days you post a picture of you with a 12-pack of Charmin, and I wrote the word jealous. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding like Charmin. <laughs> Charmin. If you had told me two months ago I'd be like all excited about finding a 12-pack of toilet paper in the store, I would think you were crazy. Okay, let's, let's go here. This is... Perfect rose. Isn't this pretty? It's just a very pretty, I think it's a nice spring neutral pink, nudie pink. And it feels good on the lips. It's very hydrating. Now the mascara is, um, it's one of those wands that I like. It's kind of a thinner wand and it's a nice gold tube here. But the wand is thin, and I like that because you can get in really tight, you know, when you're trying to separate and get that in. And the formulation must have a lot of fibers in it because it's very, very um, volume building. And it does give you some length as well. So I do like this mascara, and it's called I Got You Mascara from Carmody. And it's in the five-piece set that they sell on QVC right now. And I, I linked it below. I'm curious to try the other three items and uh, see how they go. But Carmen D is definitely a thumbs up from me. I like her as a person, and I like the makeup. I found a dupe. And um, I wasn't really looking for it, but I, um, I thought it looked familiar when I put it on. Now, Milani has this line of eyeliners called uh, Stay Put. And this one is the Semi Sweet. And you could put it on like that. And the other side is a smudger and a sharpener. There's a sharpener here and a smudger on the other side. The smudger, you can see, smudges it up. And this lasts quite a while. It's very, very, um, Good. It, it, the longevity on this is excellent. Now this is MAC in the color Broke, and it's basically the same thing. I couldn't believe it without the smudger. So I'll just use my finger here and smudge it. But I mean, it, it just, the two of them look identical on your eye and they last, they both last really long. There's a huge price difference in these two. So the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in semi-sweet and the MAC eyeliner in broke is, uh, they're a dupe, definitely a dupe. So you can save a little bit of money there. Even though I don't like to take from MAC, I, I really like that brand a lot. And from MAC, this is the Crosswires shade. This is if you're afraid to wear red. This is an orangey, pinky red. <laughs> But it's light, so I will just <coughs> Oh, 
Okay, let me just put it on here. This is a really pretty spring bright red, but it's not a dark, deep, scary red. I think it's a very wearable red, so I really like this one. And it wears down nicely. It looks very nice as it starts to fade out or if you're drinking coffee or whatever. Um, and it's a cream sheen shade, I believe. Like C, C Sheer is the other one I like in this same line. It's a little bit more muted shape. I like this very much. And this is called Crosswires. For eye palettes, besides the um, Too Faced, I have been using the C-Color Fairy Tale palette, which is, uh, I think it's a dupe from one of the, I think it's a dupe for Clover from Too Faced. It has all very similar uh, shades, and darned if they aren't the same kind of quality as <laughs> Too Faced. I know C-Color um, imitates a lot of different high-end brands. Uh, with the shades color stories, which you know you may have one feeling or another about that um, If you have a budget that you can't afford the really expensive ones then these are a nice second choice see color alter ego um, These are these are brands that imitate High-end brands. This is nice. I especially love this light green. This is so pretty. Let me just put it on Maybe a little more. <sighs> Green eyeshadow. That's a lot of fun though. I, I really enjoyed this palette. So I've been using this one. Um, I've also been using the Norvina palette and I don't like her. I don't like her, okay? I think she's kind of a jerk. But I like this palette and I've been using it um, a lot. You see I've dipped in there a lot. There's lots of different things you can do with this and it's got a matte like ivory shade that you can use and it's got a nice like crease color and then you've got a couple of sparkly other kind of things going on in there. And now this is, see now that's a light shade with some pigmentation. So that's what I'm talking about. You've got a pigmentation, not just a light wash with little glitters in it like the uh, Too Faced. I mean, it's just really, really pretty. So, so when you put that on your eye, I put it in the middle there, you can see it. You can't see the ones from um, the, in the Too Faced thing. So I think that this is just a superior palette um, in many ways, but I have been enjoying it despite not really caring for her, I do like this. And I like to be fair with palettes. I mean, if I like them and they're good quality, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. I think that's it. <laughs> Is there anything else? Is this another hour long video? I'm so sorry. Hey, you all threw shade at my background. Did you hear that in the, um, in the live stream, they, everybody was saying, oh, it looks like a 1994 high school picture, but you're moving. <laughs> like, okay. So no more dark backgrounds, I guess. So this is mom's um, granny square quilt that she crocheted for me one winter in 1975. And I've kept this all this time. It's a very sentimental piece for me. And I'm sure a lot of you like this kind of thing as well. Um, so it is colorful, and I think my skin's a little more balanced because of all the different colors, my white balance on my camera is behaving a little better. So, <laughs> Anyway, I hope all of you are doing okay. I know it's just, it's just weird, and I get that. Um, I'm staying positive in kind of a childlike, uh, idealistic sort of way. I'm just kind of skirting past the reality and just kind of getting by day to day, doing what I have to do, and you know, I work. Um, my first job from 9 to 3 and then um, I work my second job like from 4 to 9. So I'm uh, quite a busy gal during the week and um, so on the weekends I can let my hair down so to speak even when it's not mine. <laughs> anyway everybody take care, play safe for real 
and um, take care. Toodles. Take care. Toodles.